Uh, we are <laughs> roughly seven days into a what was a two and a half week journey. Now just a touch longer because we tried to side skirt some horrific mess um, that we saw along the way. Uh, every day has seemed to be uh, I don't know if harrowing is the right word, but a little dangerous. Well, danger seems early. to be <laughs> danger seems to be lurking around every bend. Stuff is weird, but we're getting through it. Um, we're we're roughly halfway, maybe a little less through the journey as we venture deeper and deeper into the unknown. Go ahead. Um, I'm um, unknown. <laughs> it was a strange um, to find him. Jesus. Yeah, we... Jones. The last we stopped, we had literally, or I should say Flint, had literally guided the horses through uh, ex- dynamite slugs as they were falling from an archway in the canyon that you were traveling through um, yeah. and you are yeah. moving on uh-huh. that's that's where we have left indeed what wait what what do we do with these slots they were dropping from the from like a little archway that was above you know like you're you're down All in right. a canyon traveling through like a ravine and there was and a part it where to... it was bridged across, basically, and they have they were dropping down as you were kind of riding underneath it. And you her... did make it through. Okay. I think someone was blinded temporarily from the flashbang of it all, but no harm to you or yours. So and we... making it through the other, making yeah. it through the other side, we can continue on this journey. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's about all in terms of eventfulness for this the rest of this day. Though you will notice uh, things seem to be getting scarce in terms of resource as you're traveling through, as well as um, the heat is becoming a little more swel- sweltering during the day, but it completely drops off at night. And, and I will say before the end of this day is done, since we are in this ravine, you will find the end of it and it will expand out into what is essentially open, sandy desert. That's just around nightfall for you. That that would happen. Sandy, can't you see? <laughs> and so am I. All right. Um, <laughs> I would love. I assume you would uh, wish to bunker down, thing, or yes. maybe you want to travel during the in in the night. It's up to you. I think that's a bad idea. I believe we should. Um, what is the term that bunker down? Uh, what I would ask is as I said it is the temperature is dropping and uh, that is going to be quite uncomfortable Uh, it is up to you whether you want to create a fire in this little makeshift camp that you're setting up or not that comes with its benefits and disadvantages as well um, but either which way, I would ask for, you know, the two that usually stand watch can stand watch and make some checks for me, and that'd be great. I would. Naturally. Um, as far as fire goes, what what say you folks? I It's not really so much of an issue with my non-fletch right now don't really have much on me that could create good heat without good light, so a campfire sounds like a reasonable thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe some means by which to uh, 
Do we have a means by which to try and cover the light of it? I, oh, well, I'm a wizard now. <clears throat> what do I have available? You're a wizard, Aranoa. Stop, there. Harry, you're a wizard, Harry. Oh, oh man, I messed that up. There it is. Uh, you fucking sorry. turfs. Anyways. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, we do like <laughs> <very> off <awesome. laughs> sure. I say in jest, of course. No, I don't think oh, I do. JK Rowling. Yeah. Harry Potter was written by Hatsune Miku, though. I don't know what this means, then. Me meds. It's a thing. She's a fake one. Yeah, I don't have any. That's fine. Um, oh, well, maybe I could tinker something. We have Ooh. that harp for the cart, right? Could we, like, make, like, a teepee-type situation? Uh, I, I bet I could. Sir, I'm Unless there are easier magical means. Well, no, I, I, I think this might be a fall to my making abilities rather than my magical ones. Um, yeah, I mean that's all. That's all good. Well, you are free to do that. I'm not sure that's going to fully hide a, a lit campfire in the middle of a dark desert. You know what I'm saying? Right, the amount of material yeah. doesn't quite cover what would be necessary for such a thing. Sure. Yeah, it just becomes I mean, a typically lit triangle in the wilds instead. I mean, of... I mean, there is smoke and there is light. Hey, light. Uh, and uh, to vent that smoke, there has, there's going to have to be some form of opening, and that's going to let light shine. I mean, you can mitigate. I'm not saying you can't mitigate light and all that. I'm just saying, like... But, from campfire <laughs> to spotlight, yeah. Yeah. Well, and that wouldn't allow there us will be to light. really look out at our surroundings either, so maybe that's not the best anyways. That is true as well. A fire may perhaps just be the thing that needs to happen. You said... I'm not trying to super scare you. I'm just saying, like, you, there is no other light out here in this expanse that you're in currently. Uh, light can cause things to steer clear. It can also cause things to be attracted to. That's all when I was you, meaning. You said sandy desert, and I I pictured, huh? but I guess I want to clarify, because there could be other things, like no trees, no vegetation. So, like, there would be nothing blocking it, our view for a while, right? Am I thinking of the right kind of a desert? Think of... Sahara starring Matthew McConaughey. That's what I'm talking about. Sure. Sandy Hills, well, you, but... Your eyes are being blocked by tall dunes in the distance. Or, or nearby in some places. Okay. But other than that, there might be a singular bush somewhere. But especially where you are currently, it's a, it's a long stretch of, of what some might call nothing. To be fair, we got lookouts. We're probably fine. Yeah, yeah, we we should be able to spot things coming from quite a distance if it is a thing. Unless they're very look, fast. Do that. That's and... a lot of faith to put in us. <laughs> because it's so open and so shield. big, when you're looking around in these directions, way off on the horizon, you can see formations of other canyon-like clusters that makes sense oh other areas that are like where you just came from uh, but they look to be days maybe even weeks away in some cases this is pretty far and open uh, that being said people taking watch this evening goes by uneventful, pretty quiet. The only thing you're hearing is either your own thoughts or the distant sound of wind sweeping sand across dunes. But light will find its way above those dunes and the morning will come. 
and you may start the next day of your journey. I believe we have been making me do survival checks at increasing difficulties. Yep, that'd be excellent for that. Uh, in addition to that, I'll also, I would love someone to roll a D12, actually, at this point. Oh, I'm go. Rarely use die type. Oh, I would be honored. Do it. Go for it. <laughs> Give him to solve. Okay. Thank you. We don't know or what it's the D12. for. the D12. Probably doom to so. Uh I will I would also like talk about a different system. I would also like a D4 to be rolled. I'll do it. Oh, thanks. That that takes the, the threat of world destruction off my shoulders. <laughs> okay. And finally Nope. That sounds good to me. Uh survival. You don't find anything natural while you're scouring her out, Coward. What you do Ooh. find buried oh. in the sand, uh, probably about 50 yards from where you've made camp, uh, partially buried in the sand, you do find the skeletal remains of some sort of trap that's here. And they do have a, a satchel on them. And in that satchel, you find six rations. Well, oh. uh-huh. I believe I have found our food for the day. And they were not natural? Well, I mean, when I, I, meant, when I said that, I meant like <laughs> berries, bushes, game. Wow. Uh, that being said, I believe this might, it may be a while before I am able to find more. I think I really lucked out finding these. There's very little out there. You could argue that they are the most natural thing out, here, but uh, d- d- death comes for us all. But what I was meaning is, it wasn't something. I, I uh, know. I was just teasing. Like you. that, yeah. Is it evidence that there's a um, that this person was uh, recently deceased? Uh, well, you said skeletal, right? There, there is not. There is not evidence of recent decease. That looks. They are. There is no meat left. It is white bone. That makes any sense to you. But I am 100% sure that this food is fine to eat for you. The <laughs> rations last forever. <laughs> uh, these ones, so, yes. Forever. These are military I... grade rations. Oh, shit. They are, they, are, they are meant to last. Okay, so they're not edible then. Uh, well, that is for you to decide. If at any rate, military, I'm going to go that would have been a much funnier joke. They put the and hard would, in the hard. And tack. I would say that that probably is a distinction between the rations that you currently have and these rations. That these are military grade. Ah, oh, okay. so the fancy I guess, stuff. I guess or I'll add. Not. I guess I will add the rations to. Do we have like the rations stay? We're all, we all keep those separately, right? But you were keeping track of them. Am I keeping? Oh, I am keeping track of all of them. Right. I, I have 64 rations on my street. We're right. You're right. So I'll just add Hello. these as a different kind of resource. Um, six military rations. Best in case. Did we? I had some of my own, but did we just give them all to you then? No, oh, I think right. we're also it's... keeping a separate stash. I think that, that was also up. Yeah, I don't have any just in written case. anymore unless it, I put it in my explorers. Gotcha. But yeah, I have 64 on me per. <laughs> and I guess okay, we're going yeah. to go through another three for you living people. You yeah. know? Yeah. Um, no, not me. No, two. Yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, yes. You don't eat? I thought we still. Uh, I have to. I can. Ah, there. I didn't learn this. Yep. yep. Well, cool. Yeah. Rations picked off for the day. All right. And as long as as long as we're here and the skeleton is here, I'm going to do a a quick last right. 
Oh, of course. That was beautiful, Cher. <laughs> <laughs> well, ashes to ashes, sand to sand. Oh, there were words this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there were... <laughs> what? Uh... Uh... Shall we continue? Yeah? Yes. 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 And the... Most of this day is fine. Uh, though hot uh, on the cusp of being a problem, but not quite yet. Still seem to have resources at your disposal that <clears throat> gets you through it. Yes. It isn't till nightfall off the distance uh, and based on how all that went. I'll just say everyone can see this. There's just a slight... Uh, glowing, pulsing light in the distance. Um, it looks to be quite tall. Whatever it is. Uh, and it seems to be not totally out of your path, if you want to call it that. Um, but a good 400 yards from where you currently are as you start, as this light source seems to be in view. Is it anything like the lights that come off of the unearthed dungeons? Um, a little bit. A little bit. It does seem to be arcane in nature, whatever this light is. I'll give you that for free. I be worth a look. I think it probably is worth a look. Yes. Although we shouldn't let our curiosity put us into danger. Well, that thing looks like it could be pretty useful. It could be, but we shouldn't let our curiosity put us into danger. Well, no, we'll be careful about it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're gonna head towards it. Yeah. Care. Excellent. Of course. <laughs> We're not gonna run directly into danger. We're gonna run at it at about a 45 degree angle because the devs didn't account for uh, being able to push the control stick all the way into the corner. Mm -hmm. we... When you get about 200 yards from. The source, you can now see in the dark what seems to be a tall spire-like uh, object. It, and you would you would have seen one of these before. It's it is basically the same structure as where um, Flint got his powers. Ah, uh, yes. Nope. I don't. It like seems it. to be this the same kind of structure. Uh, uh, it is. At that same distance, the space Pizza. around, the, the temperature around you becomes completely temperate. A good 75 degrees. I mean, one of these weird weather vanes. This seems like it would be more pleasant for you all, right? Mm, yeah. Good news so far. I would not I would not say no, but I'm I'm a little little sketchy around these kinds of things. Ever since uh Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's like I'll approach, but I won't be the first. Oh yeah, Aaron L is going up his <laughs> oh, that that does that scans, yeah. Every... Are you going to travel all the way to it? I'm going to get close enough that I can get a good look of what it is that's making this light and affecting the weather. Okay. See, uh, like, also, I want to know if it's similar to the the one that we took down that had the blue shard spell book in it. 
uh, the, the, the weather control spire. Yeah, that's the same thing we've been talking about. That's what one got its thing, right? Not sure I don't that. remember. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's Flint, as you're something getting back. even closer. It is. It is like the same. It, you're seeing something that's the same. It's just a totally okay. different location. It has. A, you you can, can see that it has uh, kind of some fire. weathering from it being hit by sand it's, and sandstorms and things of that nature. But it seems to be roughly still intact. Uh, can you remind me when we encountered the first one of these was it like a big old battle and we'd fight the thing to uh the there were some scary creatures around it when you okay. got, uh, when you found the other one yeah one oh, shot it was, the, it was creatures not the, the, not the mm-hmm. machine itself though not, not the machine itself it was uh machine <laughs> creatures <laughs> <laughs> machine guardians oh okay they were not... brains in like uh right Oh, right. Tripody like robotic device. Okay, things. thank you. Yes, uh, that reminds me a lot. Um, did we? We didn't call them walkers, did we? I feel like we would have come up with something better than that. Yeah. Okay. I feel oh, like we right. would have made a West Ranger just... joke after that. I Probably, can't wait to yeah. go dig up that video, get to that moment, and no, watch no, no, you guys no. call them walkers. And then just splice that piece into this video. Okay, perfect. let me ask you this. Did they have missiles? <laughs> <laughs> they had... I guess I might be able to look that up really quick. They had you don't have a to. laser. You don't remember. They had a, okay. at least a laser. Let me go, Let me do this. I just asked because in my inventory, I have one live missile from a walker. Oh, it might have. It was probably. It was probably those. Wow. (laughs) It's either that or. It's either that or we got it from the uh, from the giant robot. Because I didn't make you fight that. Either way, we definitely called something a walker. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it (laughs) probably. Yeah, it was these. These have these have missiles. It was it was these things. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, guess what? Yeah, you called it Walker. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, Flint was hit with a death ray. What happened? It had that. Oh. Hit. Yeah, I was. Okay, so I'm going to update this to say one live missile from Brain in a Jar Walkers. <laughs> At least that way I remember better. Yes. I, oh. I guess we can protect this brain jar. <laughs> wow. Uh, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like great. That's such that's such comedic gold. We we I'm sure we came up with a better name. <laughs> the tape says that was a long <laughs> uh, one. <laughs> okay, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry to mildly derail. That's a one. And surely. <laughs> Surely, don't call um, me surely, and it's exactly that. <laughs> well, that being the case, I want to get close enough to see if I can tell if there are any um, baddies around it that would fight us off if I were to go try to scrap this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed the very beginning of that. I would like to get close enough yeah. where I could see if there are any baddies surrounding Oh, sure. The- Make Fire. a perception or investigation your choice. Uh, perception. I'm Where's gonna it? use my uh, what's it called? Starting ancestral bullshit. Yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what it's worth, yeah, Tower's not gonna be letting Aaron now go off alone to this thing. Uh, I'm using my knowledge from a past life, and I'm adding a D6. I don't know, please. The last thing we need in that, in that <laughs> another sidekick. Wait. <laughs> other uh, other uh, than sand, you see no signs of danger. Y'all, it's clear. Come on. I'm um, in part. With great trepidation, I approach. 
Aranella is not trepidatious anymore. She's yeah, I mean, watching the area very carefully. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, you can give me a uh, perception or investigation oh, sure, sure. just because that you're going to watch the area. Yeah, that's, just, that's how we're But at least it. for everyone that is approaching this thing, yeah, it does, there doesn't seem to be any danger Sorry. around. Uh, you're there free to Noah act is as you wish. Skipping to it. <laughs> What'd you say? Okay. I said Erino is basically skipping to it as much as she can on sand dunes. <laughs> uh, you can you can reach it no problem. Okay, I wanna. Uh, I would I would like to investigate it and see if I could find the same control panel that we were able to get that blue shard spell book out of. Indeed, you can. Okay. Invest use an in investigation check or no? I, I can't mean, you, find it. you can you can find it. You've oh, done okay. it before. I mean, cool. If you... uh, it takes a little gumption, but not not enough for a roll to to pry open the paneling, and you do see a, a familiar looking blue crystal inside. Is there any way to see what spells? Oh no, I had to use the identify spell to know what spells were on the other one. Mm -hmm. Can I identify it while it's in this machine? I don't see why not. You also see that there are like, I believe it before it also had like a kind of a button-esque control situation there. Right, and like Uh, I think that like access the different spells that were on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I could just identify it as a ritual, though. Oh, but then we have to sit here for ten minutes while I do that. What do you guys think? Should I just press the buttons? See what happens? Or... No. It's ten, no. Spend ten minutes to find out. We can spend ten minutes. Spend ten minutes. Ever know. <laughs> I mean, there is there's a fun way and there's a smart way. Let's do the I'm smart sure way. I'm your personal <laughs> belief. I think you'll live another ten minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, I don't believe it's even a matter of intelligence. I believe it's a matter of wisdom. Well, that's not my strong suit. <laughs> I think it's a matter of waiting ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll start it up. As a paladin, I I would prefer you to not squander a spell slot and simply take ten minutes. Look at the thing. T- Ten well, minutes we'll, later, we'll, we'll watch it, it, you take it may it. be disappointing, but it shouldn't be surprising. It is identical in okay. nature to the other spell chart. They, that it's, one this had tower, this daylight, fire seems to be lighting. serving. Sorry, it had daylight, chain lightning, and create water. So is it yep. daylight that's causing the seventy-five degree niceness then? Uh, make a, an intelligence check. See if you can tell what it's set to. Because from what it, how it appears, it's not really in a language that you understand. But, but it, it is a familiar language. It, it is a language that you've seen. What is it? It Get does back. appear to be set to daylight. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I don't really feel um, the need to. Take another one of these. What? No, I don't want. To. Actually, you said it was. You said it was set to daylight. Uh huh. And that's the reason why it's apparently. Different. You know, I I didn't realize daylight worked that way. But I mean, I suppose. You... I don't suppose so. Right? Isn't almost light spell specifically about just. Make, I don't fuck with magics, but it seems really strange that the daylight spell would also produce a moderate climb. Could that be a one. side effect of the device it's in. That's what I mean. That there might be more to this device itself that interprets or adds additional effects, whatever. It, Perhaps a combination of I was of told it's identical. Oh, sure. Like, uh, it creates... Uh, and using the create water right. spell, it makes the perfect humidity. Right. Something like that. 
Yeah, it could just be a localized mm -hmm. area of pleasantness based upon those specific spells in in concert. In turn. I kind of uh, I could be full of shit. Who knows? I have. I don't. Oh, I don't fuck like with that. She started noticing the. Is there is there something to... about it being identical to the other one that makes it feel contradictory? Am I missing something? No. Yeah. Not, no. That's no. what I'm oh, saying. Okay. I like. Okay. No, what, okay. no, what I'm saying, uh, as I guess a player or whatever, is that this magic device in front of us is really cool and powerful. Yeah. Uh, that oh, sure. In, in ways that I hadn't realized necessarily before. I knew it could replicate spells, but this mm -hmm. seems to be empowering those spells that it's replicating as well. Because daylight does yep. not produce a moderate thing. Like, right. like doesn't change the temperature. But oh, oh. this device is allowing the daylight spell or a combination as as uh, Brian is saying or Flint um, <laughs> allows it to change the, the climate as well. You mean a combination of the shard spell book and a an aspect of the machine? No, I meant a combination, combination of spell. Well, I will say this yeah. and I don't think it's giving anything away or <laughs> the tower the spire exists for a reason. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, yes. I mean, it, if it if it didn't, you know, yeah, and it has right. the shark in it for sure, sure. So what I mean, I suppose, what I'm really trying to get at is, if you have access to a shark, and you could change or write into that shark a different spell than these ones, <laughs> then there might be some additional effect on whatever spell that might be. That couldn't be interesting. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't oh, fuck sure. with magic. I know this is this is Wendy talking there. Yeah. Okay. Just <laughs> I have added. This is my spellbook. Oh, one of these is my spellbook. Right. So I have been adding things to this spellbook, and I I haven't gotten word that they're any different. But you have not put that shard. Into a machine. Oh, are you? The I machine see. is what's doing the work. Of okay, it. well, that's yeah, that's what I was asking. You said it was a combination of the spells, so I thought you well, like. Well, no, no, that's that was that was Flint's uh -huh. theory. Okay, um, so I have to suggest that you absolutely do not put your personal version of the spell book into this device, <laughs> fuck around, and <laughs> or find out as a player. By all means, please. You you also crit this intelligence, Jack, I think, to sure, try to understand right. what's going on, and you will know that there are only so many options on this panel to interact with. No, no. And on a normal shard, it corresponds to the spells in the shard. Like the shard sure. purpose is the spire's purpose. But reasonably, I would think I might be able to tinker and rework these buttons. But well, I don't that's know if a thing that's you work. could. That's a thing you could try to do. I will say, and you would know this based on everything you've been looking at, the technology involved here is a little outside your understanding. Sir, of course. Of the world. I mean, yeah, naturally. Um, but maybe. Okay, well, then I'm just gonna take this shard and I'm gonna start adding some spells onto this one too, so that next time we come across a spire, I can test it and I have a double. So. Being very, I guess, uh, is there a way to erase from shards? And, like, being very specific about what you've taken away and what you've added. So it's not just, like, a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Now, there's wondered, one I, other aspect to this that we haven't got to yet, and that is the fact that last time you did, I believe you had to tinker this the, this little... shard out of the machine because it is integrated into the spire itself. It's not really? actually meant to be removed and replaced. Unless maybe it is, but not <laughs> not by You me. need a whole nother under <laughs> you need a whole new level. I, I I I'm not using that word in the mechanical sense, but you need a whole nother sure. level of understanding to be able to just really remove these devices like swap without it out. any sort of yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um, I mean, I'm willing to make that check. Yeah, I mean, please do. If that's what you want to do. Can I make that check? Sorry. It is delicate. Yeah, it's delicate work. Not true. I'm, so, I'm glad I heard it. I heard it. That's been so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Can I make that check? 
Hmm. <laughs> Gotta make check. Gotta make. Gotta make that check. Um, I'm still gonna add more to that because I just really want to make sure this works. Okay. So I'm gonna use my um flask of convenience, which. Sorry, I need to remind myself what that does. I just know that's the tool one. Oh wait, no, that's not the tool one. It's this one. Okay, so I'll add a d6. Just in case. D6. Shout out Excellent. to a real one. Uh-huh. That picture uh, of 25, that could have been a number. Yes. Yeah, it was a number. Whoa! You are able to, yeah. you are able to Hell yeah. remove, delicately remove this shard from the machine without issue. Is this one also blue? Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna, well... It seems like the exact same item before you fiddle with it. Yeah, I'm just gonna change the number that I have in my inventory. Oh, they're making a whole new item. Okay. Um, um, I will. As soon as you remove being... that, however, well, I will say, the, as soon as you remove it from this device, uh, the light that is kind of flashing above, that's just kind of notifying you of it, of its existence, kind of like we see, like, you know, on the way to an airport or something, uh, goes out. It is no longer temporary. It goes yeah. back to being the the temperature starts dropping rapidly, uh, and that's about it. We should probably skedaddle. <laughs> Sounds good to me. And it, uh-huh. and just a reminder: it is not during the day; it is evening that's taking place. Okay. It is at night, like the, you know. <laughs> Around the time where you start making a decision to press on or stop. So, we have we could put the device back and enjoy the space while we have it. That was hard to get out of there. Or, <laughs> if, I, or because, you know, order of operations, I could allow this once. <laughs> that you waited till after your rest to boot it. Yeah, I mean, you managed to. You managed to finagle that thing out once. <laughs> it was to say that you put that thing back in is just going to stay there, you know. Well, yeah, but I feel like I could break it too. I feel like, like I got. got another. I feel like the fact that I was able to call on my ancestral. Uh, knowledge was really helpful in this situation, and I might not have resources like that. Well, I guess we'll have just rested, huh? Still. I thought we would just have permission to not worry about it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. This time. This going time. Going forward, on. if you find another spire, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Earth spell book? Shit. But if we find this spire again, who knows? Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, little rest well, in the comfortable weather. That's that's fun and interesting. Who knows what that might attract overnight? And this evening, in fact, this event will be the most interesting interesting thing as that happens as we can move on to a new day. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Was that day nine out of? 17 inch? Is that accurate? I don't remember. I'm... Is anybody keeping track of this? Um... Well, it got a little, as I said, you're a little bit behind. Oh, right, 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 right. So maybe uh, nine out of night. This is technically, if you're keeping track, this is the ninth day. Uh, but I think I told you, you added on two days by side skirting that, that mess. <laughs> Gotcha. So, nine out of nine. Oh, God. Boom. Uh, excellent. Funniest part of that was where it peaked. What? What's and... that? Sorry, the, the microphone got peaked. It was fun. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. So, I'll need a whole round of checks again. Boom. That's Here the, we go. That's the one from Tower doing the scavenging. Uh, that is 
the D12 and D4. The D12 and D4. Thank you. It's I'll, fun if somebody else does the, the rolls D12 that they yeah. for. Um. Oh no! I feel like I'm rolling every day, Same so number. I don't mind if, if people yeah. take these rolls. It just doesn't seem fair to roll a button. <laughs> You want the uh, D4, roll, Brian, since I did I want that D12 time. again, actually, or no, I roll it one more time. Not good enough, Wendy. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Interesting. And that D4, did somebody roll it? About no, I was saying, Brian, you want to do Sure, I got it. <laughs> Lots uh, of teams. And uh, you are able to scrounge up some really sad-looking berries on a bush that exists out here against all odds. Who wants to be the first to try it? Pirates too in a minute. These berries are perfectly edible for both of your reasons. <laughs> However, I don't think there's enough to cover both of you, so you should split them and here and split a ration as well. And that should cover you for the day. I love how we eat once a day. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, it's all you can eat. Times are hard when you're out in the sand. Speaking right. of hard times, uh, I need a perception check out of people in this group. Well, too. That's, that's uh, everyone. Up. Yeah, that's... Well, I mean, you know, you all have potential to do it. Just because you're a lizard doesn't mean you're not people. <laughs> I thought you said loser. <laughs> I was like, geez. Barely you figured it out. Hey. Lizard wow. people. Wow. Oh, really weird. Oh, hey. my God. Distancing. And in a weird scenario, everyone but Shraw is going to see this. A plume of sand that is... uh rapidly moving in your direction uh billowing if you will is that the right like something is churning it up into the air in front of you as it is traveling quite fast you will have about five rounds roughly before it's going to reach you we got a live one yeah i'm gonna stick with that and the closer it gets, the bigger you can tell whatever is pushing this sand in your direction uh, is quite large. Um, and by quite large, I mean that it is... Quickly find this page. There you are, beautiful. Uh, this is huge. In nature. All right. What you doing? You have about Our, five rounds worth of time to prepare for this. I recommend we avoid this. And also, yes, get off the ground ourselves. <laughs> I do. But I assume we do that most. Sure. I assume everything's floating. Yeah. Unless okay. otherwise told. <laughs> so why wouldn't we? But if we have a chance to avoid this, we should let the driver. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna see if I can't get the cart to to make a hard turn. Can then uh, pull out that live missile. <laughs> oh my god! Does it just have a fuse on it? I'm guessing it just has a fuse. Escalation. Well, <laughs> no, the way that missiles work is it does not have a fuse. They have, uh, like, they explode on impact. You must. Oh. Eat. How do you propel it? Uh, Catapult. You could have, uh, Catapult. If you, yeah, that, that will work. <laughs> or you can, if you want to get a fuse on it or alter it, you can take some downtime right to tinker now, with but... it that could be pretty <laughs> dangerous I will add oh, I that it will be quite dangerous but yeah. you could do it <laughs> sure. it's an explosive 
Um, no, then I'll, I'll, uh, that a fantastic idea. I'll have that ready. <laughs> Just okay, holding I'm it on s- my shoulder. Sure. Okay, for the sake of this, I will say that everyone can make stealth checks for me against whatever this is, passive perception. See if it, under- it can s- notice you. Uh, Dang! Ooh, oh, those are all pretty oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, that being said, and taking that time to also try to get out of this thing's path, which is pretty big, but we're only talking roughly 15 to 20 feet wide. Uh, yeah, it is going to basically pass by your area. As it does, uh, it will. it is going to kind of act as a somewhat of a brief sandstorm as all this sand that's getting kicked up starts pelting against you, your horses, uh, your cart, everything. Um, and the length of this creature seems to be a good 40 feet that you can tell this trail behind the, the front of this sand that's billowing back. Uh... Yeah, I would... Yeah, yeah. Are you just going to let it go, or are you actually going to try and hurl oh, a missile Oh, no. At it? If it doesn't come at us, I'm not using the missile. That's just in case it starts coming at us. I will okay. say, just make a nature check for me, if you would. I was going to ask, yeah. As this thing flies by. Yeah, you immediately it, recognize this again as a sandworm that you have over- now dodged. Don't and since you're that. not touching the sand, it didn't have its tremor sense, and it was just going on its base passive perception Ooh, and did not yeah. spy you. That's what As I'm it hurls about. through <laughs> this area and brief, it passed you and off into the distance. Probably Very the problem cool. of some other soul. But I mean, I guess we could have killed the sand more. I don't know if it would have killed it, but we would have been engaging it. Like, I think this one was bigger than the last one. Ah, uh, fair enough. Messed with. Yeah. I'm not sure. I Maybe just not. mean you needed some some more sandworm uh, skin for your last project, trying to build a TP. No. Oh. But and, and as it like passes, I'll just with... I'll just say as it passes in your minds, you hear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere off in the distance, a humanoid man sheds a tear. A sahi. Um, Jeez. The sandworm, last one we fought, didn't leave anything cool in its wake, did it? That was just a snail, I think. I think so. Yeah, right. oh, I was yeah. wondering was the same the, thing. The glass snail? Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm so sad snail. we didn't. <laughs> Pick up any last time. Well, I pick up a little, cool, but it's a, like one. I know we definitely could have killed that thing, and it would have been cool, but it would have been me. Yeah, that didn't feel necessary. Yeah, it would have been a murder. That's it. Would have sure. been a murder. Yeah. Yes. Plus, <laughs> it, it wasn't even able that? to get Wait. all of it. It wasn't able to get all of it. It was like walking around, like juggling a bunch. No, of I'm, I'm saying the snail itself. Oh, oh, no, not the little fellow uh, trying mm-hmm. to collect the stuff. I wouldn't. Oh, that would have been a double murder if we were killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or that would have been definite murder. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're not, not here to slay random beautiful bits of nature. We're here to kill monsters. Yeah. Oh. Inconveniences. That being well, said, no, nothing wrong. I see it's 906. I know we're going to either want to stop or stop very soon. And I would say we have time. For one more day travel, yeah, 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 yeah. at least to, at least to start it, find out what's going. On. Might yeah. might want to stop before I actually resolve, depending on what day happens. Travel, day travel, just yeah. in the sense we could start that that other day. So yeah, this was day ten, right? Uh, was it? Yeah, because we did a sleep and we did a look, and we when we looked, the 
that this is what we I believe this is what the, the yeah the, uh, the, I only have well, well we started we started in back on it on the seventh still on the seventh we started this uh, and I only have two things that we've two days that have passed so I think this was still this will be the tenth day that we do right now gotcha cool Let's I would go. love those round of checks. If you don't go. mind. Little survival. Oh, yeah. So, Shra should roll the d12 and I'll roll the d4. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, isn't it? Wow. Uh, How are wrong. we repeating everything? Yeah, I'll, I'll take right. another d12, please. <laughs> Not good oh enough. Oh my god, was that the first number? No, it was two. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh, and the D4 was that, so that means it's this. Thank you. Keeping track of these things. Excellent. You're on day 10. I'm going to write that down and check. Why not? Why would I? Yeah, do Why it. would I? I would do it. Do it. Uh, uh, tower. Yes, that's me. During your scavenging. You find half of a weird mutated pig still on a spit in a abandoned camp partway out here. Cole's still ember. And that is the rations that you find. Well, uh, I do let the party know that there was most likely, very recently, campers nearby coals were still burning. Uh, this pig is 100% edibles for both dwarves and lizard folk. <laughs> During this day's travel, that. high up on a dune in your vicinity, as a trap, you can see it in the distance. You see three humanoid figures kind of cresting on the top of the ridge, like walking across it. Uh, Making out their details would require a check from this distance, as they are quite a ways. You can you can see them there, but you can't quite make out their details that easily. Up. Through the power of your shield, Flint, you are able to see, almost in a magnifying glass sort of way, that there are, in fact, these three humanoid creatures. They appear to be huge in size. Is that true? Yeah. I would assume double, let me double check that. Let me double check that. Doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. That can't be the right age number but this can thank you yes that's true they're huge uh you see two uh makeshift wearing makeshift armor huge big swords at their side like on their backs they're holding them like they're ready to strike at something at any point um another more I, I guess, guess you could call it slender frame compared to the other two, but not by much. Uh, walk. Walking walk. behind, holding what looks to be a big yeah. Gatlin-like gun, not unlike the one yeah. you saw on the back of Pines' cart. And they seem to be just patrolling this ridged area like a hunting party. Hey. Do they look like they're... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got so quiet. Do they look like they're looking for, uh, for just company in general, or if they're like looking for something that's been attacking? That is hard to know. I, I would say that's hard to divine from this distance. 
and honestly sounds more like an insight check kind of situation, which would require getting much closer. Right now, they seem to be just scouring the area in in some sort of hunting park is what you can tell do we try and avoid them either avoid them or hmm, or examine them for a little while longer until it becomes a little clearer their intentions That's fine with me. And we failed. How close are you going to get to these individuals? And are you going to stealth, try to stealth your way? <laughs> they're kind of, there's, it, in, a, in a way, they're in your uh, Without, again, further delaying yourself by trying to really get around out of their area. Uh, I'm personally willing to do they look like cutthroats of any sort like how decked out do they seem to be as far as like sword wielding and wastelanders um pretty post apocalyptic is how I would describe it Baby, go around on this one. And, uh, again, they are huge in size. They're standing around that 15 foot height. Oh, right. They're really big guys. Yeah. And, uh, they, they are humanoid, but they don't look all that human if you get the closer you get. They do appear to be distorted in, in ways. They don't know any other words. They're not unlike. Those creatures you saw before getting into the uh, uh, canyon area, but not as. But you seem more uh, less animalistic. If that makes any sense? They're definitely clothed. They, they seem to have more purpose. We yeah, could drive around. I, I, drive didn't catch, I didn't catch what you said. Was that to me or Brian? Uh, Brian. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, maybe this is a go around unless going through them is really, really fast. Is there an approximate difference that we can tell at this point? Like a good path around it versus through? How much time we're going to wait? It's pretty mm-hmm. open desert. And you'd have to go pretty far out of your way to get out of... To feel yeah. fully confident that you'd be Carry away on. from them. To where they won't even, won't even know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're in open desert, so it's kind of hard to... You have to kind of use dunes to your advantage and stay behind them, and that's going to take you out of your current path. So it could be up to a whole other day of delay trying to get around them. Perhaps we haul ass at an angle? You know, just kind of slightly sidestep past them? See if we can spend as little time adjacent to them as possible? Mm, that feels like we're asking them to chase us. Yeah, maybe we just approach with our, our hands up and show them we're not a threat. I don't know if that... Well, that might be fast. I also feel confident in our abilities to fight in whatever fights we need to fight. Just rather not. True. What if 
What if they just look mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> Maybe they all have some good tips. <laughs> so I think the thought right now, what am I doing? I believe the thought right now is that we don't ride directly at them, but we ride, we do try to ride at and not like all the way around, but just not. The yeah. 45 degree angle? Not necessarily we're 45, just like, like hey, 30. We're not coming at you, but we're going that way. He says the, the pass in the hallway, just quick nod. Right, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and see if we can get away with that. And if uh -huh. not, we'll partner. In and out, no distractions. And then if not, we fight or run to Tendaver. Like two lightning rails passing in the net. Or possibly do a run fight. You could be good at that. We've catted things before. It was... All right. That's the plan. Yep. And mm this. -hmm. <laughs> Brilliant. I love Let's it. Do it. So you're <laughs> going to like try to race by it. I don't even know. Exactly. No, we're gonna it's play great. cool. No. Uh, yeah. no, I I think it's way more casual than that. I think we're literally just trying to ride just by like them a normal like... pace. Right? I think oh. I think we're yeah. I think we're gonna set ourselves up so that we're not like five feet away from them either. Right. Right. Like yeah. we're not yeah. we're gonna you know Take go on a little next... bit of a slight angle just to give us some distance. At least a hundred feet of birth. Yeah. A but... respectful birth. Yeah. But not trying to be sneaky or quick, just like we hey, see you, or you threatening. Feel. Yeah. Okay. The they, we the all table. exist here. We don't need to do nothing for each other. This was gonna go the moment yep. they want to practice bacon with all uh, calcium, we just haul ass. <laughs> Let's do <Okay>. it. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> right, there's Here's what's oh, happening. Lord, As, when we get to the first moment where they get a chance to see you, I'll say that's about the time where you can really get a good look at them. And here's what they look like in the Discord. Yeah. Two of the sword guys, Ooh, one of the gun girl. Holy moly. Uh, now here's their chance to spy you. Um, oh man, we appear <laughs> to have taken a slight detour through 40k. Yeah, this, these are interesting character designs. Wow, <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> you know, this is exactly <laughs> what you described, <laughs> but like, it, mm -hmm. I, I'm surprised it is exactly this. Mm -hmm. Like, those glasses are wild. <laughs> <laughs> uh, way too big for you to wear. Where is there? The genre of orc uh, punk doesn't exist yet. I think we struck it. Okay. I need this. I need this. And that's a one, two, a three. Okay. Uh, you're not trying to stealth at all, from what I understand. That is correct. You, you will be. see that one of the big sword that gentlemen... Ladies, it's hard to say. You can't see the you can't see bits, and you don't know how they identify this distance. Uh, pull out what looks to be some sort of bone, like horn of a, some kind of creature that you don't exactly recognize. It seems big enough that it's a normal oh. size horn for this individual, Damn. and he puts it to his lips and lets out a. <laughs> the yeah, other unsheathed the sword, and the one with the oh, Gatlin, you know. Holds it at the ready Literally. as they begin running full blast at you down the sand, and you are about a hundred. You are about a hundred feet away, as you as you said. So, um, I suppose I, I assume that's probably a good place to stop for everyone. That stop. Yeah. Well, it's probably that's where we'll place. that's where we'll do it. Yep. Wow. And, and they're covering ball. quite a bit of ground because they're big. Yeah. The uh. The casual approach didn't work, guys. 
Maybe that's not one Maybe of their settings. friendly, they said. Maybe they're perfectly fine and normal folk, they said. The swords yeah. out and the gun surely are not an indication of a threat. I'm so <laughs> confused why we did what we did, but I was on board the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> Like oh, we just spend the whole time just being, being so pitch. open what? to, to the Oh, yeah, yeah, get yeah, some care. <laughs> so yeah. confused why you're just like, hey, y'all, no problem. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Black casual. Hey, hey. it's refreshing that it you, you perceive, yeah, that it's like, maybe they're not, you know, marauders. Right. I, I will say this. They're, they're now that they're running towards you. The stuff that they're wearing is kind of invoking the walls that you were seeing, the spike walls above the canyon. Oh, They okay. seem to be coming from the same place. Yeah, so those are ambushing type of folk as well. Interesting. Well, you may have passed by a fortress or something. Look. A whole fortress. Or, or you know, or a fortress or... or... <laughs> the word I'm actually for is like some kind of encampment or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Scary stuff coming for us. Now the Paul missile could come into play. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. That's fine. It was right so at that, home. Next so that'll to be these a whole encounter weapons. when we next meet. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. seems like we're stretching this out now and there'll be a few more sessions for the session that's in person. So that's fun. That's good. Noah, Harry, well, Miss Moss Trap, ma'am, that's live ordinance. Please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, we aren't in city limits. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. We don't know what the effect of range or radius yep. is. No. <laughs> Megaton so, do? Let me go first while they're so <laughs> far away. Let me solo them. <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I actually have. <laughs> yeah, I have no stats clue for that. What the damage is on this thing? Like, I have zero information <laughs> other than what I read you. Guys. Oh yeah, and, and oh. honestly, you should. Yeah, right. But I'm saying, um, as a DM, like coming at it from that angle, it was a weapon designed to attack us at a certain and, level that we've already. Oh, I do. I do have. Thank you for saying that. I have the exact stats sure. it's on the creature. A. Hey. Don't I? So my guess is it would be something like 2d10, but it could also be like a super powerful weapon that's meant to like wipe us out. Yes. Yeah, Deep maybe that was there. Always, always says to be careful about a. Uh, about the kind of shit that you let people get off of enemies. That's right. Absolutely. What? I have all fair game. Proper fan of throwing oh, myth okay. motherfuckers. I got it. That's acquired. I mean, it's a missile. Yeah. So. Yeah. Make that. Figure, figure that, that out me. as best you can. I'm not going to tell you what it is. What it like, does. The missile isn't doing at least a D twelve or two. I'm I'm Here. feeling undersold. Because um here's the, another thing about it is missiles aren't really the them, level of missiles one? are not the technology level of this world. I guess in some <laughs> ways they are, but not this specifically. This it's is not actively at the level. Yeah, this is I mean I mean, is it worse than a fireball? Who knows? Casting fireball, which is, you know, readily available to you, but this is a totally different thing. This is beyond the basic tech level of the world so far, I would say. Unwith schizo tech. Uh, I, I don't know if um, this makes any difference to you, but when you said fireball is readily available to you, Wendy got a look <laughs> on her face and opened up her character sheet. I don't think I do, though. I, at what <laughs> oh, level I, I just mean, I mean to people in the world, not to you specifically. Are you, you a fifth level? level wizard? Wizard. Oh. I have the slots, but not the spell. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't have it yet. Yeah. I, let me, yeah, let me clarify that. Not specifically any one of Yeah, not readily available. Just available. But, 
to the world, the, to people of magic in the world, yes, they have fireballs that they fling at people, right? Where they Eddie, don't necessarily the have access to missiles like this. Correct. Gotcha. Because a That's missile, cool. missile, any Joe Schmo, right? You don't have to be a powerful wizard. That's that's what I, mean, I would there. argue there still needs to be like a proficiency in that you know, thing, but you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's where my tools come in. I think the magic. I don't know. Explosives are are a fucked up, crazy thing, man. I feel like if you take a hammer to the end of the vessel, you can set it off. Yeah, you know, I I think that's the the problem with firearms in general when it comes to like power acquisition and stories like this. Well, is at that... least with the with the firearm, my thinking is like you need to understand how to use it appropriately. Sure. And I'm not saying <laughs> hitting a <laughs> missile with a hammer is appropriate <laughs> use, but I'm saying it is. Effective. It will blow up. Yeah. 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 